students, science year 2. Today we will continue on unit 9, earth. Okay, before this, in our previous lesson, we have uh, learned about the natural sources of water. Okay, sebelum ni dalam pelajaran yang lepas, kita dah belajar tentang sumber air semula jadi. So, in this lesson, we are going to focus on water flows. Okay, our learning standards for today state direction of water flow by carrying out activities, make a generalization on natural direction of water flow such as in rivers and waterfalls through observation using various media. And we will also look at the effects of the disruption of water flows. You may refer your textbook page 105, okay, muka surat 105, water flows, aliran air. Look, a lot of water is flowing down. It is raining heavily. Do you know in which direction water flows? Let's investigate. Okay, jadi kejadian di sini. Uh, mereka nampak air mengalir suatu hari hujan. Okay, this is the activity. The simple activity that you can carry out at home. Investigate direction of water flow. Okay, what do we need? Food coloring, beaker, or you can uh, replace it with a jug or glass, and then tray. Okay, this is the steps. Number one, put six drops of food coloring into 250 ml of water and stir it. And then number two, pour the colored liquid into a tray. Number three, put the tray on the table. And number four, erase one side of the tray. These are the apparatus needed for the experiment in the Science Year 2 textbook, page 106. A tray and some colored liquid. Okay, first, pour in the colored liquid into the tray. Okay, now raise one side of the tray and see what happened. Okay, we can see clearly from here the liquid flow from high place to a low place. Okay, now we continue to another side. Okay, if we move or raise the tray from the other side, what happened? Okay, the same thing also happen the liquid flow from high place to a low place okay just now you already observe what happened when we raise one side of the tray right okay number five observe the direction of the colored liquid flow in the tray and number six a sketchy observation so let's discuss the answer for this question how did the liquid in the tray flow when one side of the tray was lifted? Okay, apa yang berlaku terhadap aliran air di dalam uh, tray tersebut apabila kita angkat satu bahagian tray? Okay, just now, we already see that when we lift one side of the tray, we can see the flow of water. So we can see that liquid flows from a high place to a low place. Okay, cercai mengalir daripada kawasan yang tinggi kepada kawasan yang rendah. So let's look at few examples. 
here when we want to pour a liquid in a glass so this is high place and this is low place ni ialah kawasan yang tinggi dan ini ialah kawasan yang rendah jadi cecair mengalir dari kawasan yang tinggi ke kawasan yang rendah okay, same goes when we want to pour a drink in a glass Okay, sama juga kalau kita nak tuang air ke dalam cawai. Air tersebut mengalir dari kawasan yang tinggi ke kawasan yang rendah. Okay, this is pipe. Okay, pipe air di rumah. Okay, air mengalir dari kawasan yang tinggi ke kawasan yang rendah. And then page 107, natural direction of water flow. How about the direction of natural water flow such as the river? So you look here at this picture, this is waterfall. I terjoy. Okay, this waterfall flow from high areas to low areas. Rivers and waterfalls flow from high areas to low areas. Then, they flow to the sea. Okay, kawasan yang tinggi mengalir ke kawasan yang rendah. So, you can see this waterfall I join. This is high area and the water flow to the low area. Okay, air mengalir dari kawasan yang tinggi ke kawasan yang rendah. Okay, dari atas ke bawah. So, this arrow show the flow of water. Okay, this is the flow of water from the high area here to the low area. Okay, you can see the flow of water, right? Okay, boleh nampak aliran air ni dari kawasan yang tinggi dia mengalir ke kawasan yang rendah. And then, disruption of water flow. Water flow can be disrupted by rubbish, logs, and waste materials. Okay, aliran air boleh terganggu dengan kehadiran uh, sampah, kayu ataupun sisa buangan. So, let's see what are the effects from this disruption of water flow. Okay, mari kita lihat apa kesan-kesan yang berlaku apabila aliran air terganggu. Number one, mosquito breeding site. So here you can see a few potential breeding sites. Okay, tempat-tempat yang berpotensi untuk nyamuk membiak. Ha, contohnya, hongkang yang tersumbat. Okay, aliran air di sini terganggu, air tidak mengalir. Jadi boleh menyebabkan nyamuk membiak. And then number two, smelly river water. Okay, when we throw things into river, all the rubbish here. It will make the river water smelly. Number three, flash flood, banjir kilat, usually caused by heavy or excessive rainfall in a short period of time. So the conclusion, 
what we learn in this lesson. Number one, liquid flows from a high place to a low place. Okay, cecair mengalir daripada kawasan yang tinggi kepada kawasan yang rendah. Number two, we already learned the effects of disruption of water flow. It will cause mosquito breeding site, smelly river water, and also flash flood. So we need to take care of our water supply for a better earth. This is your homework science activity book, page 65, 66 and 67. Science activity book of page 65. So you write the date here. Okay, and then let's read the instruction. I investigate, observe the direction of water flow, apparatus and materials. Okay, you can carry out this activity at home if you have all the materials here. Plastic bottle, adhesive tape, string, Cutter, but be careful when you use cutter. And then, water. Okay, let's look at the steps. Number one, cut a plastic bottle as shown in the diagram. Okay, you need to cut the plastic bottle. Number two, tie the bottle using a string and hang the bottle horizontally. Okay, ikat bottle ni menggunakan benang. Number three, fill the bottle with some water. Number four, push the bottom of the right side of the bottle. Number five, repeat step three. Number six, push the bottom of the left side of the bottle and observe the water flow. So let's look at the video so you can get a clear view. Year 2, page 65 A bottle and coloured water Okay, now you can see the coloured water inside the bottle And we see what happens if we push from the right side of the bottle And you see Okay, we can see that Okay, the water flow from the high area to a low area Okay, now what happened if we push the bottle from the left side? Okay. Okay, class, you can see also the water flow from the high area now to the low area. So, in conclusion, we can make here is water or liquid flow from high area to low area. Based on the activity just now, you need to answer the questions here. What was the direction of the water flow when the right side of the bottle was pushed up? And then number two. What was the direction of the water flow when the left side of the bottle was pushed up? So you write your answer here. Water flows from two. Okay, isikan tempat kosong di sini. Okay, jawapan bagi soalan ni, awak perlu isi tempat kosong di sini. Okay, we already learned that water flows from high place to low place. Direction of natural water flow. Okay, page 66. Use a blue colored pencil to draw the direction of the water flow. So you can see here, high area, low area. What you need to do, take your blue colored pencil. Okay, ambil pencil warna yang berwarna biru dan lukis arah aliran air. Okay, you must draw the arrow here. Okay, buat anak panah arah aliran. I. And then you fill in 
the blank. Okay, a waterfall flows from the area to the area. Okay. There are two things that you need to do here. First, you need to draw the direction of the water flow. Okay, use blue color. Just draw a direction of the water flow. And then, you fill in the blank. A waterfall flows from the high area to the low area. And then, page 67, disruption of water flow. Match the situations with the effects of water flow disruption. Situation, there are three pictures here. And then the effect, mosquito breeding site. Smelly river water and also flash flood. So you match with the correct pictures and then you fill in the blanks. Disruption of water flow can cause, okay, there are three blank spaces here. And the tiga tempat kosong. So you just copy the effect here. Jawab salin semula saja kesan ni di tempat kosong ini. Okay, you can check your answer. The first picture, flash flood. The second picture, mosquito breeding site. And the last one, a smelly river water. And then you fill in the blanks here. Okay, that's all for our today's lesson. Water is alive. Take care of it. So, thank you and see you again in our next lesson.